Hey everybody, welcome back to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got another match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Kyareth on the left and Ghost on the right. Kyareth flying two B-Wings, Tinnum and Braylon Strom, the Stress Lovers, without maneuver and jamming beam. AP5 goes well with the B-Wings because he can coordinate to stress ships. He's got Nora or uh, Leia Organa, so he can turn those one talon rolls and other red maneuvers that the uh, B-Wings have into white maneuvers. So we'll see how that does if he stresses his, uh, his B-Wings and then uses Leia to uh, give them the ability to do another red maneuver now that it's white while stressed and they keep their stress mods. Um, Nora with Intimidation, Dorsal Turret, R2-D2, Hull Upgrade, and Veteran Turret Gunner. So that is a hefty Nora. Seven hull, two shields. That's uh, nine altogether. Veteran Turret Gunner, so she can uh, double tap after a primary attack. R2-D2, so she has three shield regen uh, capability. Intimidation, so if she bumps you, she lowers your agility. So that's going to be tough. Ghost over here showing that he still believes in the Decimator. He's got uh, Rear Admiral Shiranu who can... Oh, it uh, looks like Vendor went over a debris. Rolled a hit. So, no damage there. So Rat can uh, change a die result to a crit. Is that right? Let me change one of your focus results into a crit. Yeah. Uh, if he's reinforced and that ship is in the area that is reinforced of the uh, of the decimator, um, he's got ruthless, which we'll talk about later. Minister to us so he can take a red reinforced action at the start of engagement, I believe. Um, if he's damaged, Grand Moff Tarkin can spend two uh, two charges to allow everyone um, to get a target lock on a ship. He has target locked. Fifth brother gives him a force point, the ability to turn another focus result into a crit. So that's two focus into crits if everything goes correctly. And he's got major vendor, fire control system, barrage rockets, advanced slam, and OS1 arsenal loadout. So OS1 allows him to attack targets with munitions if he has them target locked, even if he has a weapons disabled. So he's taken barrage rockets and um, Tarkin should allow him to get that target lock off. Of course, he needs Chirino to get that target lock before Tarkin can uh, can trigger and then give everybody else target lock. So I kind of think he, he might be moving up too fast with Vendor, but uh, he may opt to move up and use Advanced Slam to target lock on his own. And then he's got Fire Control System so he can keep that target lock around only re-rolling one dice. Um, Barrage Rockets gives him a nice three dice attack as long as he's focused. So that's the problem here is uh, if he moves up and advance slams and target locks, he can't fire Barrage Rockets. So you know what? He doesn't have to slam. I guess that's sort of the point. Um, if he's this close, he could just you know two bank, get rid of the stress, focus, and then fire his regular barrage rockets, but he's definitely, this is not a vendor angle. Vendor wants to come around the sides and the back, and he's heading towards the front of these B-Wings. That's no good. Um, we'll see how it works out for him, but he's got uh, two Academy pilots. Let's go ahead and name those guys. And why I think this is brilliant is because he's got Ruthless on rack. So he can move these two academy pilots into range one, you know, try and cause some uh, some bumping, and then use them with Ruthless so that they take damage and allow Chirino to change results into hits. Bar says, Academy Dave and Academy David. All right. There you go. Dave and David. Brothers in arms. All right, these guys are putting down their dials. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Enjoy the music.
Looks like everybody's dialed in. AP5 moves up and coordinates to Nora. Hmm. Coordinates of focus. I kind of... I don't know if this is the turn to double mod Nora. I think you calculate here, just in case. Try and save yourself, maybe. AP5 carrying Leia just makes AP5 seem a lot more important to the list. So using it to coordinate every turn and not worrying about what happens to it doesn't seem quite as viable. All right, so we see five forwards from the TIE Fighters. Looks like one bumped into the other, is that right? Barrel rolled left, tried to fly five straight, but is now touching. Oh yeah, so he barrel rolled into his own way, that sucks. Now he's probably in Rack's way. Well, there was nowhere for Rack to go there. Maybe he's just trying to slow his team down? All right, so we see the uh, barrel roll into evade. No, barrel roll, sorry. Focus into a red barrel roll from Braylon. Let's see if Tindum opts to do the same thing. Sure does. B-wings are a little spread apart. I think I would have liked to focus Vendor here. Vendor's got to focus, or else he has no munitions to fire. He's got a pretty good target here, Braylon. But he doesn't get Vendor's ability, which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, I think Kyrath kind of messed this engage up. He needed Vendor to take a longer time to get in here. He needed not to bump the Academy pilots, and he needed Rack to come in and get a target lock so that his other ships could uh, benefit from Tarkin. If he had Dauntless, he could at least bump into his ships and still perform an action, but he's out of points, and Dauntless is not cheap. Let's take a look at that. Dauntless is four points. It's not too bad. So, Nora moves up. What was her action? She... Sorry, ghost. Who was I? Who was I talking about the engagement here? I think I might have said Kyrath was flying the uh, Imperials, and I was wrong. Ghost is uh, doing this, so yeah, I definitely think Vendor coming around the side. Oh boy, nope. Ghost is in the chat. He's listening to me as I critique. No, he's about to show me why he made all the decisions that he made and why he likes these dice rollers despite the fact that they're terrible on stream. Oh, did... Uh, well, the Decimator can't use Tui yet because he's not damaged. That'll change soon enough. Oh, there's two natural hits. First roll of the game. It's range three, so the decimator does get a die, but uh, it doesn't roll any evades. Bar says Ghost is flying the Imperial Ghost. You know what? It all makes sense now. Uh, 
Ted Vader says all part of the plan. We'll see. And Mars says he's not a fan of any dice rollers. Me either. I, I like the big dice they give you in the game. I like that now they actually give you readouts as opposed to just showing you the number of the die face. They'll tell you focus or hit or crit. And they don't have funky designs like this, which make you go, hey, what what is a crit? I guess it's this imperial symbol. Alright, so Rack lost two shields from Nora. Now Rack is shooting into Nora. Uh, double evades thanks to the focus. Hit crit from Rack, so that didn't matter. Chad Vader says, what are your thoughts on the newly announced Outer Rim game? I, I saw it, I didn't read up on it. It looked like a cool board, a cool lo uh, layout, but I didn't, I didn't actually read anything about it. You know, I've said, I, I try to be open about Hexiled Gaming being more tabletop games than just X-Wing, so maybe I'll get it just so that I can say I've played another board game on, on this channel. Maybe it'll just be a Star Wars board game channel. All right, the B-Wing shooting into Vendor. Three dice at range two, hit crit. And this is Braylon, so he's gonna use his stress to re-roll. And look at that, it's a crit. Hit crit, crit on Vendor. One of those is going through because Vendor doesn't have his uh, disarm token. I don't know, they, they re-rolled that dice because they said it's cocked, but the, the game gives you a readout. Like, it, it, if you hover over it, it's not going to say it's halfway between hit and crit, it's going to say it's a crit. So you, there, there are no cocked dice in, uh, in this version of the simulator. Um, so Vendor takes two shields. Down to one. There's uh, three hits, one evade. I guess that's on one of the ties. So it takes two. I think this is from Tinnum on Academy Pilot number one. Takes two damage. Super Scrap says you should do TTS coverage of Star Wars Rebellion, the best Star Wars game. I played physical rebellion once and it seemed fine it was a big like grand strategy game it's ranked number six board game in the world wow it's a great tts mod for it and the game itself is perfect i honestly don't remember much about it Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying it again. I think we're trying to figure out who is shooting who.
Oh boy. If we look at the uh, the rebel side here, no damage. Hit blank focus was the offensive roll. And he focused for two. So Braylon takes one. First damage into the rebels. 12 points to zero thanks to the half points on this tie. What's happening? I think AP5 is going to shoot. Yep. Probably into the same academy tie. Uh, yeah, academy pilot here. Oh, Dave. Nada. What did Nora do as her action? She was already focused. She's stressed now. Did she... Did she barrel roll? Alright, the ties are going to shoot. Double focus, so that's nothing. And Nora. Going to take their shots while she's not at range one. Yep, it's number two. One crit. One of eight. Wow, wow, wow. Nora. What a beast. What an absolute legend. So now what do we see here? What if it was like a, a three bank and a three hard from Vendor? Eh, that would put him over here. Probably not a lot of things to shoot at. Two bank too hard and there's a four right who has initiative i believe kyrath has initiative somebody's looking at dials I think that's the gunboat dial. <laughs> Chad Vader, hashtag pray for Dave. I think Dave is going to get ruthless here pretty soon. I, I, I wonder what you do to get this solved. I mean, I think you do a four, a three, and a one. Maybe you do a 5k... And then a three forward. You've got to give yourself one base length for rack. And then another two for the base. So that's three. So I, you might have to do a four. And hopefully AP5 isn't out here blocking you. Actually, well, a three, no, a three would give you two base links, three base links, plus your own, so four, and then Rack would move up three base links with a one. So a 5k and a three, I think, is the way to go here. I think a two bank, mm, I feel like a two bank is dangerous. Because Braylon might just one bank here. So I think you three bank. Three hard. Probably take your target lock. I don't, maybe a three hard and a three hard. No, that'd have you pointed this way. 
Um, Mar says a vendor slam would be less than ideal without the target lock already in hand. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, this whole engagement. Because this is a, a good idea with Tarkin. It, barrage rockets. It, it, oof, it's just so tough. How much are... How much are homing missiles now? Five. It's not bad. Two points less. Cluster missiles probably. It's a better shout. Over homing. Homing used to be great at like three or four. But, uh, I wish Ion Missiles was, well, I was going to say I wish Ion Missiles was three, but then it would just be Ion Torpedoes. I don't think Concussion. Oh, it's, it's hard to say Homing Missiles over Cluster. You get four charges with Cluster. It's a three dice attack instead of a four. Uh, range one to two. Hmm. It's tough. Mar says, I think I'd drop fifth brother and get proton torps. Proton uh, torps. Twelve points. Oh, feels bad, man. I think I think Rack needs a force point. You've got your soft focus from his ability. Then your force point. You've got two focus into crits, which is a good synergy. I, I like it, and especially it, it, it's okay to bump with that force point and minister Tua. I was gonna say he needs Dauntless, but with a force point and minister Tua, it's kind of giving him those two focus results anyway. He really wants a target lock, but. It's not bad. Alright, Kyreth moves up with a 3 bank from AP5. Getting in the way of these ties. Coordinates a focus to Nora. Thanks to AP5's ability, he can Coordinate distress ships. So he's taking a look at the Academy pilots. Goes for a five forward. One Academy pilot. Which one is this? That's David. David the unharmed. Goes for a five forward and an evade. He should be safe here. I don't think there's anything that can shoot him. Maybe Braylon. Two bank out of the Academy pilot. I think he's still gummed up the works here for Chirinu. Here comes Tinnum. He was up with the two bank looking to catch Vendor, it looks like. So the problem here with, with my idea. Three bank, three hard turn. Even if you get the target lock, you stressed yourself with advanced slam. I guess you two bank next turn and then two hard. Yeah, there's the one forward out of Braylon. Goes for a focus. Gonna tr attempt the um, barrel roll, ju really just to give him the stress. He knew he couldn't complete it, but he wanted that stress. Ooh, there's the three bank. Oh, did he bump? No, he didn't. He's in a real bad place here. Well, no. Nora can't shoot him. Tindum's the only one who can. Tindum does have a range one shot, though.
I almost wonder if you... Would, it, would a three bank slam, it would fail, but give you... Well, it wouldn't fail. You would do it and get the disarm token. Nah, they wouldn't. I don't think that would help you that much. Give you three dice against AP5, but that's about it. Goes for the target lock. Brave. So he's not waiting on uh, on the decimator anymore. I think that's going to be the end of Vendor. What's he got left? He's got five left. He's going to take a four dice attack from ten num. So maybe not. Maybe he'll get attack range one from AP5. So Admiral R Rack comes up. Is he shooting? See, if he'd focused with Vendor, he would have had a barrage rocket shot with a reroll into Nora. That's unfortunate. Actually, that may, that might be range one. Probably not, but could be. says Rack might have wanted that reinforced there. Yeah, what did he do? Takes a stress token. Oh, he coordinated to Vendor. Oh! He gave Vendor a focus. So he's target locked and focused. That's nice. Nora's going to shoot into Rack. Or is he shooting into Dave? Rack's got the uh, the ruthless here, but he's all, but uh, Nora's also got evades. Can she take more than one? If there is an enemy ship at range zero to one, add one evade result to your dice results. Okay. Dave, look at him! Look at him! You can't kill Dave. He's got those natties. So who's shooting now? Oh, this is veteran turret gunner. One hit. Oh, he survives! The double tap! Oh, boy. Not today. Not today. So that was Nora. Five, so now we get rack. <laughs> Mars says Dave's gonna be running the academy soon. Teach him everything I know. So I think we're gonna get rack. Maybe into into the. Well, I think they're gonna try and kill. Wait, who's who's throwing two dice? I think that was just a demo of the dice roller. Alright, so Rack's got a range one shot. Oh, looks like he's got, yeah, he's got Nora and AP5. He's gonna shoot AP5. I think you focus Nora here just because you know that's where Vendor's gonna shoot and probably the Academy pilot, but AP5 is very vulnerable right now. So Rack did not reinforce, so he doesn't have that. He does have Fifth Brother. So you definitely spend that to make this a crit. And then he's probably going to Ruthless. 
for another hit. But yeah, this is the real bummer with your with your uh, rack build. Is it's great when you get hits and focuses, when you get blanks. So he spins it for a crit. He's opting not to ruthless. It looks like. Ooh, it goes through. So one shield on AP5. I bet he's glad he didn't shoot Nora now. That would have been a real bummer. Alright, so Braylon, gonna take a shot, just gets a range 3 into Rack, so Rack will get a dice here. Three dice, range three. Hit, crit, focus. He's gonna spin the focus, keep the stress around. Two hits and a crit. And a whole lot of nothing out of rack, so two shields and a crit. Minister Tua is now online though, so that's nice. Uh, looks like a double damage, so that's one more. Not the worst thing. like four dice out of ten numb oh two hits and two focuses he's gonna spend that stress for four hits on vendor vendor's got five left so he's gonna survive this but is he gonna thrive this I don't think he's gonna spend that focus nope he's gonna take one shield two damage cards to have two hull left So that should be both of the fours on Kyret's team. So now Vendor's going to shoot into Nora. Comes another barrage rocket. He's down to three. Rolls the dice. A blank of focus and a crit. He's going to fire control system the blank for hit crit. And is he going to spin the focus? He sure is. Hit, hit, crit. A nice barrage rocket there. One evade adds another evade and takes one on the shields. So far we've got one shield damage on Braylon, one shield damage on Nora, and one shield on AP5. Not a great showing for the Empire here. Blank crit out of uh, AP5. Forgot to roll the third dice for range one. Hit crit on rack. Let's see what that crit is. Disabled power regulator. Not, not the worst thing. He's already engaged this round, so he's got three rounds to worry about it. All right, now the Academy Pilots are gonna shoot. Oh, Dave! Dave, the absolute legend, hit crit crit on AP5. Or is this on Nora? Oh yeah, he bumped into AP5, so he can't. So yeah, this is on Nora, okay. So it gets one. On the shield, it looks like. Yep. Adds one one evade result. 
gets one with the focus, takes one crit. <laughs> I missed... Someone forgot to arm Rack's weapons. Yeah, that's... That's what seems to happen when you bring Rack. It's just not the guaranteed damage you need for a vulnerable ship like that. I'm trying to think of how I would change this ghost list, because I like most of it. I think I would change barrage rockets to clusters, and I think I would get rid of Tarkin. That brings you down to 192. I think you put something like... I was going to say Lone Wolf on Vendor, but I don't think you need that with fire control system. Hmm. Clusters is 1 to 2 though. I almost wonder if you need cluster and homing or concussion to give you missiles at every range. I, I think... Clusters just seems like a... I mean, Concussion seems bad. Concussion being 2 to 3. Because I feel like at range 3, that's your early engagement, and there aren't any damage cards to expose. So maybe homing there. That'd be 5 points. That's 197. So you have homing and cluster. That's 10 points of missiles, though, and then you're, you know... You're two points away from a proton torpedo, so what are you doing? Well, maybe... Okay, actually... Cluster... Maybe you do go with concussion, because you're going to get a three dice attack at range one. Not after you slam, though. Mm, that's tough. What about Cluster and Advanced Proton? Oof. That's even more, but get a 5 dice attack at range 1. That's pretty spicy. Oh, Mars is 6 hit crits into a Y-Wing with 2 evade dice. Only 2 natural damage. Yeah. It's sad, man. Definitely sad. I feel like the more you put on Vendor, the bigger a target gets put on his back. But also I like this 97 point Cherno. No title though. Yeah, Ruthless and Fifth Brother are nice because they give you mods even after you bump. Tua's nice because it gives you again, it gives you a ability that it gives you your reinforce even if you even if you bump, so that's nice. So I think Tua and Fifth Brother pretty much get rid of your need for the uh, the title. But then you really need these TIE Fighters to stay alive so that Ruthless works. There is a two hard turn from AP5. I'm gonna coordinate to Nora. Gives her a focus. Man, 
these are some sad looking Imperial ships over here. 3K out of Academy Pilot. Dave over here. David doing another 3K. Nice job getting around the back here. One bank out of Braylon. Gives him a nice angle here on Rack. Is this going to be where Rack is, though? Definitely needs to get that arc turned. Yeah, Braylon did a focus into a barrel roll. Alright, Vendor. Too hard. Looks like he's probably going to too hard again. He needs to get out of his own way. Bring out the other too hard dial. And there it is. I don't think you need to advance slam here. The only thing that can shoot you is AP5 and I'm willing to bet that doesn't matter. Of course, Nora could move up and turn that arc. She has a three hard. Ooh, let's see what that arc looks like when she gets turned. Oh, she's stressed though. Yeah, she can't do that. So she just has a... Uh, one white forward. Womp wah. Is it a one or a two? I always get eye on and that rule mixed up. Two forward out of rack gives him a lot of shots out the back arc, so that's nice. Are, are we going to see a reinforce? No, he's moving the target lock. Two is correct. Okay. Ops for 10 num sees that as the most vulnerable ship right now. Although he has not done any damage into Tendum yet. But that range one is hard to pass up. Oh, he's gonna He's gonna reinforce the back anyway. Nice! Good call. Minister Tua coming through. You know what? I'm packing up my decimator this this week. I'm going to fly something like this list. It's a bunch of ships that I actually own. Alright, Rack. He took his ion for disabled power regulator. He's going to shoot out the back. Nor doesn't have a shot. He's going to shoot into Braylon. He's got two soft focuses. He's got a reroll thanks to the uh, target lock, so he should, he's he's practically fully modded. Oh wow, two hits and a crit, he's going to turn. He doesn't need to spin that force point because he can use Rack's ability there. But uh, nothing from Braylon. Oh, that's Braylon, not 10, wait. Ten, um, not Braylon. Uh, wasn't that attack into Tenum? Not Braylon. Tenum still has four shields.
Yeah, so he does not get that crit. Okay, there we go. I think that was a fuel leak, but oh well. Hey, there was a, a hell of an attack from uh, from Rack, so that's nice. Uh, so the only <laughs> rebel attack we get is AP5, who gets hit crit. Oh my god! The robot, he does it. Hit crit. Let's take a look at what that is. Damage to engine. Oof. That's no good. And that sticks around. There's nothing you can do about that. So he's got three, four, five. We should have seven left. Yeah, seven left, okay. Uh, looks like the TIE Fighters are gonna shoot. Whole lot of nothing. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Ties. Just Ty, thanks. Dave had his, uh, his insane, uh, three dice range one attack. Academy Dean, who is that? There's Dave and David. You made these names. Alright, back to planning. I got one eye on on, uh, on Rack, so he just needs to... He's probably going to bank. Probably a one bank. Actually, can we take a look at his dial? That's Imperial. Yeah, one bank gives him the blues. <laughs> but he, he definitely needs to start turning before his uh, power regulator goes off. So if he's here, he gets two. And then if he turns up the board, he'll have three and just end up floating this way. Of course, this rock, you got to pay attention to that. You know, the bad thing about this mat is these, these rocks can kind of blend in. Thank you, Connor. I always take it off to look at crits and then forget to put it back up. Alright, so... Vendor... He's not stressed, right? No, he didn't advance slam. So maybe a two hard... He could two bank. And then two hard in here. Who does he have locked? Oh, did he? He did it, guys! He did it! Tarkin goes off, gives ten, uh, gives everybody target locks on ten num. Woo! Love to see it. Hopefully, it'll uh, it'll matter here. I wonder, I wonder if we'll see Leia. Oh, uh, Nora, Regen. Okay. She knew she couldn't shoot anything, so that was a good turn to do that. Um, where is... Leia's right here. That would happen in the system phase, right? At the start of activation. Okay, so... That's good. Oh, here it comes! Oh, here it comes. It's Leia. Leia Organa. Cool. 
So one talon, one talon, something like that. AP5 has a 3k? I didn't even know that. Goes for a calculate. Decides to mod himself. 3 forward out of this academy pilot. Probably going to go for an evade. I think that's Dave. He's on one hull. Yep, takes an evade token. Connor says Leia is too good. She's very good, but I think it's I think we should give her her time in the sun. People didn't appreciate her enough at the beginning. Now they're going to know how good she is when they uh, inevitably bump her up one or two points again. Ooh, there's a two bank and a focus. Mar says, no one thought she was good when she was eight points. Uh, our boy Rico did when he put Leia in a four U-wing list. I think it was four. Maybe it was three. All right, there's a, uh, a one Talon from Tin Num. He's digging through his pile of target locks to find his base. He's making fun designs. Goes for the focus. Tries to barrel roll left and backwards, but can't make it. So takes the stress. There's another one Talon. Going to prepare for Vendor's inevitable return. Now I wonder if you're Vendor and you too hard. Do you? Well, is there any way? Is there? I think you bump. I think you go for the bump because you can't shoot. Barrage rockets at range one. Ooh, he does a big three hard. So he's got arc if he wants to focus and shoot Braylon, but I don't think he can survive it. Vendor's on two. Braylon's on almost full health. I think you you go for a bump here. Go for a three bank. Try and catch him on the edge and get out of Tenum's arc. Oh no, he sticks around! Oh no, 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 no. There's the K turn out of Nora. It's a white maneuver, keeps the stress, but does get to veteran turret gunner. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. He's getting very, very close to the board edge. And he's going to be double eye on this turn. Next turn, because he has damaged engine, he's not going to be able to hard turn if he uses uh, Tua again. Yeah, Mar exactly. He should have banked because he's going to have to red hard next turn, which means he can't use Tua this turn. I think he just has to reinforce here and not use Tua. He's got the target lock. Depends on if that's range two, if he gets to use the reinforce ability. Yeah, I think you just have to reinforce the rear here. Worst thing, I think he either forgot damaged engine or thought he could fix it or forgot damaged uh, power regulator. Yeah.
Or maybe he's just a complete badass and he knew that he wouldn't need to Tua. Oh, he goes for a focus! Why? You have soft focus! Why wouldn't you reinforce? And now he's missed the opportunity to reinforce. It's a white action. Why wouldn't you just take that action? Yeah, he doesn't use Tua, which is smart, but he could have just used the regular reinforce action. Here's one hit out of um, Nora, Academy Pilot, Dave, has to spin the evade to survive. And here's the dorsal turret shot. Hit focus. Can we see one evade with three dice? He lives! <laughs> Maybe we'll see Ruthless on Tindum. Tindum's got four left. Oh, it's just outside of two. Oh. It's going to be range three with a target lock and focus, though. Here it is, three dice attack into ten num. He's gonna spend the force. No. Yeah, I guess spend them both. Spend the force to get a crit. Well, when hmm, has ten num shot yet? Because that focus could matter. Yeah, well, he spent all of it. Oh boy, there's two evades. Spins the stress for two evades, takes the crit. Hopefully it's weapons failure. Console fire. Well, that kind of helps. Ten numb down to three. Console fire could go off on his engagement. Here's the console fire roll because he's about to engage. And it's a focus, so. Nothing too bad there. Alright, here come the fours. Does he catch Vendor? No. Okay, so he's gonna shoot. Hmm. Who do you shoot here? You can kill this ship right now. Rax got seven. But Rack's manageable, because you know Rack is gonna do a hard turn next turn and not be able to turn his arc. I think you take out the tie. Reminding them to add the second ion for a disabled power regulator. So three dice, so this must... Who's he shooting? Vendor. Oh, this is outside of range one. Okay. So Vendor's down to one. Oh, did he? He caught a piece of Vendor there? Weird. So I don't think Vendor's going to make it through this. Braylon has a reroll. 
There's hit, hit, crit, so he can't survive. Vendor is four, so he will get simultaneous fire. We need to find out what the crit is because it could be could be weapons failure. He says there wasn't a crit on the attack versus vendor. Maybe I was seeing. Alright, whatever. I guess that doesn't matter. Um, they're saying there wasn't one? Maybe I'll see in focuses. Ten numb. Uh, down to... Two hull. Dice rollers were only used on uh, defense, so I can't go back and see what the roll was. Oh boy. Oh no, is that a... Is that a dead Dave? One hit into Dave, zero evades? No, 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 that, sorry, that's into AP5. That was this shot, I guess? So AP5 takes the damage, okay. Hit crit. Is this hit hit crit? Is that part of this roll? It's a focus out of 10 numb. I think he's dead. Yeah, hit, hit, crit. Ten num is dead. Dave killed him. Structural damage. Dave, Dave did it. <laughs> what an absolute legend. Lest we forget. MV Dave, MV Dave. <laughs> so let's look at the points. 52 to 90, though. The Rebels still running away with this right now. Always kill Dave when you have the chance. Agreed. Alright, back to the planning phase. Uh, we know what this ship's gonna do. The question is how does... How do the rebels take advantage of this? Alright, uh, Leia gets one charge back. Tarkin should be getting charges back. Poor Vendor. Oh, sorry. It's 115 to 52. I didn't take Vendor out. Yeah. Uh, Tendum is 52. Vendor is 51. So that's a pretty even trade. But half points on the Academy Pilot. And I believe half points on Rack. Yeah, that's what really puts it over the edge. Mars says, Braylon's in a weird spot. Maybe he YOLOs into the debris. I don't... Yeah. I, I think a one bank onto the debris, he doesn't care. Gives him a target lock, essentially. 
And you know what? AP5 could focus Braylon, and then he could move on to the debris. That'd be fine. Oh, he coordinates a turret rotate onto Nora, who points backwards. What does that tell us about what she's going to do? Is she going to turn away? Turn yeah, maybe she turns right. She doesn't have R4, though, right? So... She, I guess she has a white too hard turn. Alright, so we see a bump out of Dave here. Braylon with a three forward. That seems like way too much. Maybe he's going to barrel roll. Focus barrel roll. If Rack is here... He better. Oh, he's he's looking at backwards. I think I think you have to go in the middle. Because if you fail it, nice no, he's fine. Okay. So if Rack is here, he should. Braylon should have a good shot. Superscope says, "Could you do pilot skills before their name?" Yeah. It's weird that it's not in the overlay. It's in. Did I choose that? Let's see. Pilot initiatives. It's weird that doesn't show up because it's in it's in the overlay here. I'll look through the settings. There's there's a tick box that says pilot initiative, and it's ticked. Oh, initiative location. Let's put it there. There you go. Sorry about that. All right. What did we miss? Rack moves. Ooh! Oh, look at that! I think he's out of the arc for Braylon. What a legend. Nora moves up. Oh, and points the arc backwards. What was she trying to do? What a strange turn of events here. Did Nora... R2? No. She's going to try and kill Dave here. She only gets one shot. Why did she turn that arc? She tried to hard turn, but was stressed. Oh. Come on, man. That's like the second time that's happened this game. And I think both, both times with Nora. Maybe he's used to using R4 and forgot. Uh-oh. AP5 hit crit, and that crit is another damaged engine. So it looks like that was this tie. A hit and two crits. Oh, wow. Was that Dave? Range one? Was that Dave? So Nora evades one, takes crit on the shield, crit on the hull. Oh boy, I gotta stop hitting that button. Uh, panicked pilot takes two more stress tokens. Oh boy, that is a... Uh, that's a Nora that's not going to be moving her arc or focusing anytime soon. Dave forever. Oh my god. <laughs> Did 
Chad Vader says, I honestly think Ghost has a shot at winning here. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's looking a lot more hopeful now. Um, Rack is going to be doing an Ion maneuver here. How did he get rid of... Did Rack relieve his stress? Did the clearing from Ion. Okay. So he is going to do an Ion maneuver. Oh, right, right, right. So he's going to do a blue maneuver from Ion. So they just, they got it, they got rid of all of it at once. Okay, so disabled power regulator is gone. Damaged engine. One of my least favorite crits. I'd almost rather take double damage than have my dial changed. And it's it hurts some ships more than others. Oh, looks like time is done, even though mine... Let's just take that out of the overlay for now. Uh, so time is over. This will be the last round. <sighs> so Ghost has 69. Kyrath has 115. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think there's a way to get to, to make up that disparity here. Nora's 61. Braylon's 53. If he killed Nora, he can't, I don't think he can kill Braylon. Yeah, I think you kill Nora, right? So that's 69 plus 61. You could do half on Nora. If you killed AP5, that's 15, 17, and half on Nora. 30 plus 17 be 47. Which would give you 9 and 7, 6, 116, I think, uh, so half on Nora and killing AP5, I believe would give you 117 points, or 116 points. So Braylon puts himself out there to try and block, I think. Barrel rolls out of the way. I don't. Why would you do that? Hmm. I guess that gives him less things to shoot at. Does Rack have AP5? I think so. But that means. Well, yeah, he can't. He can't get half on Nora. So I think this game is over. Yeah, he goes for a focus. Oh, he probably could kill AP5, but that's only going to give him 17 points. And there's nothing to shoot at Nora. Yeah. 
Nora bumps into Dave, is out of range to get shot at. I don't think he even has Braylon. I don't think either of these guys has anyone. Oh, the, uh, Rack probably has AP5. So Nora will take a shot into pilot number two and probably fail. Three dice range one versus three dice with a focus. Full health. I, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Get to shooting. So he reinforces the aft just in case. Nor's got a range one into academy number two. He's looking for a few extra points. Blank. So one eye. I mean, one hit, one evade. So he'll get, oh, I see what you're talking about with a pot shot, uh, Academy number two into Braylon. See Rack, range three into AP5. Won't get to use his ability because it's only range, oh no. Sorry, I, I keep thinking Rack's ability is range one to two, or zero to two, but it's not. Um, one hit, one crit. Is he going to Ruthless onto Academy number two? I think he is. He's going to do it. He takes a damage on Academy number two. To add a hit result. So he's got a hit, hit, crit. Onto AP5. AP5 will get three dice with a Calculate. One evade, one calculate, takes the crit. That's 86 to 115. So Academy number two into Braylon. Are they four and four? Oh boy, stop that. Yeah, so he'd have to get three dice with a two dice, or three damage with a two dice attack, and that ain't happening. He does get two hits, one evade, takes one on the shield. And that's it. That was, that was a really good game, and the decimator lived. That's, honestly, that's a victory. 86 to 115 is a very respectable score. Uh, 115. Yep. So that was, uh... Yeah, that was a great game. I, I do like this Decimator build. I think it has some legs, maybe a few changes, but I'd like to play something along those lines. Thanks to the players for playing. Thanks to the viewers for watching. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexile Gaming. Signing off.